Welcome to One Book, One Review. Hey everybody, today I want to tell you about I'll Never Get Out of This World Alive by Steve Earle. Now, as you know, this was a cover by, because look at the cover, it's really beautiful and I really like the title. What I didn't know was that this is a Hank Williams song, so you can imagine my surprise to find Hank Williams' ghost in the novel. Hank Williams' ghost follows around our main character, Doc, who is the only person who can see and talk to him. And Hank, for some reason, is tied to Doc. He can't go anywhere that Doc doesn't. So there's this connection between those two, but that's not the main story. The story is set in 1963 in San Antonio, Texas, sometime around the Kennedy shooting. And we follow Doc around. Doc is our main character and he's a junkie. He's called Doc because he is a doctor, but he has lost his license some years ago because of his drug habit, of course. So he still practices medicine to, yeah, basically to pay for his drugs. So he lives in the red light district in San Antonio and he basically sits in this bar all day, waits for people to come who need medical help. And of course, it's mainly the locals, the local junkies, the local whores, the drug dealers, those people who need his help. So he basically deals in abortions and STDs and gun wounds, knife wounds, things like that. But everything changes when one day Graciela, a young Mexican girl, is brought to him for an abortion. And for some reason she never leaves, she just sticks around and they become friends and Graciela has a great influence on everyone and everything. She basically changes the whole area and that's what the book is about. And for some reason it's rather not interesting. I don't know why, but this book is kind of meh. The characters, there's a nice small set of characters. We have, of course, Doc and Hank and Graciela, who are really interesting and I think the most round characters we have. And then we have Marge and Dallas, two lesbians who run the boarding house where Doc lives and practices his medicine. We also have Manny, a big Mexican drug dealer, who's kind of friends with Doc. And we have Teresa who runs the bar where Doc sits around all day and some other characters that keep showing up. Most of the characters are rather stereotypes and they're likable, but yeah, there's, they have nothing to offer really. The book also offers a really great villain, a priest, Father Cullen. He's really great as a villain because he's dislikable, he wants all the wrong things and you can see in his mind that he thinks he's doing it for a good reason. But you just know he's so wrong. He's a really good villain, I have to say that. I hated him from the start. But other than that, the novel doesn't have much to offer. I was wondering for most of the time what the author wanted to tell me, what the story is, what's going on. I wasn't really interested in the people. Interested enough to not put it aside, but I wasn't captured by the story. Everything that was happening was like, yeah, okay, and... By the end, when the villain appeared, things got turned around a little bit and you get some action going and things happen and you were like, no, no, no. But yeah, it was just like 50 pages of those 200 and something. And it wasn't enough. Overall, I have to say this novel is kind of meh. It was okay, but I definitely would not recommend it to anyone or push it on people. Yeah, it's just not interesting enough. And sometimes when you have novels like that, the writing pulls it out. And I'm a sucker for good writing, you know that. If a novel is not interesting but it's greatly written, I can love it nonetheless. But the writing didn't do anything for me. I couldn't get into the book. It always felt like work. It just didn't flow and I was really disappointed in that. That's the main thoughts I have to this book. If you have read it, if you have different opinions or insights or you think like that's such a great book, just let me know in comments. And if you haven't read it, don't bother picking it up.